Club Nokia LA Live, and I'm joined here with the one and only, the notorious manager, Ed Torres. How you doing, Ed? Where you What did you think of the fights? Man, I thought the fights were great, action packed. I really enjoyed that girl fight. That girl fight was great. So it was a good card. It's, uh, Turi asked me to come down and uh, check out the show, and uh, I think it's great to see uh, you know the upcoming amateurs and see what's coming up next. Now, when you come to the amateur fights, do you look for talent that you might be looking for in a couple years from now, or do you see someone that you would want to sign right away? Well, you know what? I both. I just kind of check them out, and if there's anything that interests me, you know, I also have my own promotion now, the RFA, so I'm looking at guys to fight in the show. So. What it was, besides the women, what did you see that popped out to you? I just thought it was a good amateur show that's developing new talent. All the guys fought, so it was nice, you know. I'd like to see the rounds go a little bit longer, but, you know, it's, it's amateur. Question for you, it's a controversial topic right now. Dave Diaz suspended on Fox MK for his recent comments. So I was just wondering, what are your thoughts? Should he have been suspended, should he have been fined, and maybe possibly cut from, from Dan White's side? You know, I, I, I don't know if he would be cut, but I mean, you know, you, 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 know, you have to understand that they're celebrities and, and you have to understand what people are looking at them. I and unfortunately, you can't say, I understand what he meant by it and it's not what he literally got suspended for, but you have to be careful when you're in that position. So do you, do you, you agree with the suspension of fire? I don't necessarily know if I agree or disagree. I just, um, the suspension, uh, like I said, I haven't really, I was out of town when it happened, so, you know, I, I don't really have really too much of a opinion on it. Now, if some, one of your fighters in the RFA you said that they were, were going to do that, what would your reaction be to that as the owner of that lady? Um, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I haven't came across that yet, but, uh, you know, people are keeping, you know, a lot of people's eyes are on those guys, so they have to be careful with what they say. UFC 160, who do you have between Kane and Bigfoot and, and then the co-main? I know, the yeah. two Brazilians, yeah. who, who, do you, who do you see? Oh, you know, uh, you know, like I said, you know, Kane's a great champion. Uh, Bigfoot's my friend, and uh, you know, I just want to see a great fight. And uh, Junior Dos Santos, Mark Hunt. Hey, Junior Dos Santos, he's got very heavy hands, but so does Mark Hunt. So it'll be interesting to see. Thank you so much, Ed Soros. We look forward to maybe you having coming on the Hollywood MMA show. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Thank you.